Ho! I am Pallas Athena, and I come with my spear, and I deliver through the point of that spear the light of truth into this nation, its government, its leaders, and all that is transpiring that is less than the perfectionment of the light of truth. I call forth from the heart of the great I am that I am, the light of truth to expose, expose, expose all that has and is continuing to transpire that divides this people, that brings about acrimony and all divisiveness. where people feel that they must settle scores by retaliating against those who they feel do not represent their views, their ways, their means. You have called forth the judgment upon the FBI, and so your call has been heard, and there is an acceleration of emerald light delivered into the offices there and also unto Merrick Garland, who I proclaim this day is judged by the Lords of Karma for this recent action against your former and the truly re-elected President Donald J. Trump. The truth is proclaimed by this august body this day through me as I represent cosmic justice and judgment in this hour. Dearest ones, we understand the dilemmas of this hour and all that has transpired that is bringing many of you grief of heart of late. Yet look beyond this moment in time and see the handiwork of the Lord. See the answer to your prayers and invocations, your dedication to truth, honor, integrity, and justice. See the light of freedom manifesting as the glory of God for this nation and all nations. See the separation of the tares from the wheat as an ongoing process that must take place often for a 60-year period, 30 years at the closing of one age and 30 years at the onset of the new. So, dearest ones, you understand that even for an entire lifetime, many of you are experiencing this dynamic in the world and within yourselves, this process of transmutation and of the accessing of the new energies of spirit for the new era dawning. Even as you let go of your past, the past of your nations, the trials and tribulations, all darkness, and receive and accept the new endowments of light from the karmic board and from the masters of divine wisdom, overshining you, your communities, and your nations. So this light of truth will continue to reveal all that has transpired that is less than the ideal that God would have manifest. And yet, dearest ones, it is a process, and you must each be patient in allowing your Lord to so oversee this process, or even Jesus the Christ himself standing 
at the throne of God and calling forth this action. Also bows before the will of the Almighty, understanding cycles, understanding how the divine decree must manifest within the world of form last even as it first manifests in the etheric plane and cycles down through the mental belt, the emotional plane, and then into the physical. There is much activity, I can assure you, at inner levels that is transpiring, which you know not of or do not fully see with your inner sight. Yet, dearest ones, God is infinitely merciful unto the dark ones, and even they receive unto the last quotient of the energy of their beings and their last breath opportunity to bend the knee and to serve the Christ among their constituents and within the world of form. Yes, the patience of the Lord is everlasting, and yet at times when disciples such as you call forth that divine justice, it is impelled to manifest through the power of your voices sung in unison toward this purpose and end. And so you have accomplished much, dearest hearts, first in witnessing to the great light of the I am in your midst, the great power of love suffusing itself within your hearts, and then with full voice and the empowerment of your wills true to God's will, that invocation that draws forth a line in the sand where God says, thus far and no farther, you shall not hurt certain chosen ones. You shall not interfere with the divine plan of nations and of great peoples throughout this earth. Yes, dearest ones, the time is ripe for the harvest of souls of light and for the scattering of the goats who serve not the Lord God. I proclaim a new day of truth for the world through the humility, the gentility, and the purity of the children of the Son, the children of God who have borne the weight of national and planetary karma now for many, many cycles, and whose time has come to finally be free from the impositions of darkness of the wily ones, those who follow the serpentine path and the dialectics of darkness of the nihilistic ones who know not God within because they have surrendered to the ways of pure evil. Now the karmic board stands in unison, shining forth their light to support your endeavors, both those within this activity and other activities sponsored by the Ascended Masters, including the I Am Movement, the St. Germain Foundation, the Bridge to Freedom, the Summit Lighthouse, the Agni Yoga Organization, and Theosophy, and others, dearest ones, that we will not reveal at this time. Yes, blessed hearts, all of these plus the Heart Center community are part of the universal plan to bring forth the truth of Aquarius manifest now across the earth, to bring forth the teachings of the Divine Mother being revealed through messengers of light who have stood firm in their resolve to be pure vessels for these revelations, progressive in nature and bountiful 
and their eternal treasures of light wisdom. So I stand upon the Acropolis this day to proclaim this action of sacred fire. And I also stand here in your midst and where the light of truth is invoked and manifest through a virtuous, just, and noble life. Yes, blessed hearts, when you stand for truth in any way, I am there supporting you, endowing you with greater courage, perspicacity, and the strength of character to forge a new way forward for the victory of light in this age. Now raise a replica of my spear with me now as we touch them at their points together. And there is a flashing forth of divine light now, hallowing time and space in your realm and bringing forth a new wave of light for the revealing of all on behalf of the light of the infinite one and the victory of the Christ in this age. We accept it. We manifest it. We are that light of truth now and forever. Amen. <laughs>